but their eyes were kept from recognising him. The Gospel according to St Luke chapter 24 verse 16. The disciples ought to have known Jesus. After all, they had heard his voice so often and gazed upon that face so frequently. It is a wonderful mystery that they did not immediately recognise him. Yet, is it not so with you? You have not seen Jesus lately. You have been to his table, and you have not met him there. You are in dark trouble this evening, and though he plainly says, It is I, be not afraid, yet you cannot discern him. Alas, our eyes also are closed. We know the voice, we have looked into the face, we have lent our head upon his chest, and yet, though Christ is so very close to us, we say, oh, that I knew where I might find him. We should know Jesus, for we have the scriptures to reflect his image, and yet how possible it is for us to open that precious book and yet have no glimpse of our beloved Lord. Dear child of God, tonight are you in that state. Truly, Jesus feeds amongst the lilies of that word, and you walk among the lilies, and yet you do not see him. He is accustomed to walk through the glades of Scripture and commune with his people, as the Father did with Adam in the cool of the day. And yet, you are in the garden of Scripture, but cannot see him, even though he is always there. Why is it we do not see him? We must attribute this, in our case, as in that of the disciples, to unbelief. They did not expect to see Jesus, and therefore they did not see him. To a great extent in spiritual things, we get what we expect. Faith alone can bring us to see Jesus. Make it your prayer, Lord, open my eyes, that I may see you present with me. It is a blessed thing to want to see him, but it is so far better to gaze upon him. To those who seek him, he is kind. But to those who find him, beyond expression is the dearness to us. Amen.